In this tutorial of EasyLogic, we are going to show, as a designer, how to prepare your transition logic scenes built with EasyLogic for the CG operator, so they will have a full working preview of the scene when operated with Trio or a preview engine. Before we jump into the scene, it is important to have some basic knowledge of how Trio or the preview engine handles scenes to provide a preview to the CG operator. When a standalone transition logic scene is opened in Trio, the foreground scene is loaded into the local or remote preview engine. In EasyLogic, all your graphics are created within the master scene, and the foreground scenes are essentially empty scenes that are simply used to expose the control objects to the user. When developing the EasyLogic plugin, we wanted to make sure the design process is as simple as possible for Viz artists, but we also wanted to ensure that it is easy for the scenes to be operated. So let's have a look at our example scene. We are going to demonstrate the two methods that are available in EasyLogic to create preview graphics for the CG operator. In the first method, we will use a static image of our graphics as a background preview. Let's see how it works. We start off by triggering in all our elements so that they are visible. Now, if we have a look at one of the EasyLayer plugins in our scene, we can see the background image parameter in the plugin GUI. The image that we insert into this parameter will automatically become visible in our foreground scene. So let's create a background image from our scene. We first need to close the data elements so that we essentially have empty graphical elements. And now we can create an image of our scene by using the snap button. You can now see that we have a clean image of our elements. Let's go back to the EasyLayer plugin and drag the image we just created to the background image property. And finally, we press the Create Layer button to finish the process. So let's open the foreground scene that we just created and see what has happened. If we go to the Scene Settings tab, you can see that the image we chose is set to the scene background parameter. Whenever the scene is loaded into the engine, the user will see the data that they input, overlaid on top of the graphics. This method is fast and easy, but there are times when you will need more complicated preview graphics. So now I will show you how we handle this with EasyLogic. Let's use the show title as an example. I'm going to add a rectangle under the show title layer and change its color. and I will also add some text. And I will change the text property to Show Title. Let's close the other elements so we can see what we are working on. Now, I want these two elements, the rectangle and the text, to be the background of my scene. So to do this, I will group the two elements and change the group name to Preview inside of square brackets. This tells EasyLogic that all the elements in this group are preview graphics. We can hide this group so that it doesn't interfere with the rest of our graphics while we work on the scene. Now, all that is left to do, as in the previous method, is to click Create Layer in the EasyLayer plugin to generate our foreground scene. So let's have a look at our newly created foreground scene. As you can see, our preview container appears in the scene tree. The EasyLogic has turned on the group so the graphics are visible. EasyLogic knows when your scene is played out in on-air mode or if the scene has been open in preview mode and will toggle the preview graphics accordingly so you have nothing to worry about and no extra logic to handle. This gives you great flexibility in creating operator-friendly graphics in your production environment. In this tutorial, we demonstrated the power of EasyLogic. Beyond being a great tool for Viz artists, it also improves the playout workflow of transition logic scenes. Thanks for watching, and please be sure to check out our website for more information about creating transition logic scenes with EasyLogic at www.erizos.tv.